Hello and welcome. Today we're reading another story from our book, Rutabaga Stories by Carl Sandberg. And today's story is titled, Poker Face the Baboon and Hot Dog the Tiger. When the moon has a green rim with red meat inside and black seeds on the red meat, then in the Rutabaga country, they call it a watermelon moon and look for anything to happen. It was a night when a watermelon moon was shining. Lizzie Lazarus came to the upstairs room of the Potato Face Blind Man. Poker Face the Baboon and Hot Dog the Tiger were with her. She was leading them with a pink string. You see they are wearing pajamas, she said. They sleep with you tonight and tomorrow they go to work with you like mascots. How like mascots? asked the Potato Face Blind Man. They are luck bringers. They bring you good luck if it is good. They change your bad luck if it is bad. I hear you and my ears get your explanations. So the next morning when the Potato Face Blind Man sat down to play his accordion on the corner nearest the post office in the village of Liver and Onions, next to him on the right hand side sitting on the sidewalk was Poker Face the Baboon. And on the left hand side sitting next to him was Hot Dog the Tiger. They looked like dummies. They were so quiet. They looked as if they were made of wood and paper and then painted. In the eyes of Poker Face was something far away. In the eyes of Hot Dog was something hungry. Whitson Wimble, the patent clothes ringer manufacturer, came by in his big limousine automobile car without horses to pull it. He was sitting back on the leather upholstered seat cushions. Stop here, he commanded the chauffeur driving the car. Then Whitson Wimble sat looking. First, he looked into the eyes of Poker Face the Baboon and saw something far away. Then he looked into the eyes of Hot Dog the Tiger and saw something hungry. Then he read the sign painted by the Potato Face Blind Man saying, You look at them and see them. I look at them and I don't. You watch what their eyes say. I can only feel their hair. Then Whitson Wimble commanded the chauffeur driving the car, Go on. Fifteen minutes later, a man in overhauls came down Main Street with a wheelbarrow. He stopped in front of the Potato Face Blind Man, Poker Face the Baboon, and Hot Dog the Tiger. Where is the aluminum dishpan? he asked. On my left side, on the sidewalk, answered the Potato Face Blind Man. Where is the galvanized iron wash tub? On my right side, on the sidewalk. Then the man in overalls took a shovel and began shoveling silver dollars out of the wheelbarrow into the aluminum dishpan and the galvanized iron wash tub. He shoveled out of the wheelbarrow until the dishpan was full, till the wash tub was full. Then he put the shovel into the wheelbarrow and went up Main Street. Six o'clock that night, pickups came along. The potato-faced blind man said to him, I have to carry home a heavy load of money tonight, an aluminum dishpan full of silver dollars and a galvanized iron wash tub full of silver dollars. So I ask you, will you take care of Poker Face the Baboon and Hot Dog the Tiger? Yes, said Pickups, I will. And he did. He tied a pink string to their legs and took them home and put them in the woodshed. Poker Face the Baboon went to sleep on the soft coal at the north end of the woodshed, and when he was asleep, his face had something far away in it, and he was so quiet, he looked like a dummy with brown hair of the jungle painted on his black skin and a black nose painted on his brown face. Hot Dog the Tiger went to sleep on the hard coal at the south end of the woodshed, and when he was asleep, his eyelashes had something hungry in them, and he looked like a painted dummy 
with black stripes painted over his yellow belly and a black spot painted away at the end of his long yellow tail. In the morning, the woodshed was empty. Pickups told the potato-faced blind man they left a note in their own handwriting on perfumed pink paper. It said, mascots never stay long. And that is why for many years, the potato-faced blind man had silver dollars to spend. And that is why many people in the rutabaga country keep their eyes open for a watermelon moon in the sky with a green rim and red meat inside and black seeds making spots on the red meat.